Hello. It's definitely been a while since we've had an SCR update review, with the updates so far this year being 1.7.1, giving us onboard announcements and upgrades, 1.7.2, giving us more train upgrades, as well as a complete overhaul of the Clin area on West Wyvern Curve, 1.7.3 gave upgrades to the Class 357, and 1.7.4 gave us a new train, the Class 168. Everything went silent after the release of 1.7.4, but a month later, in August, Sneak Peek season went into full swing for the first time in just over a year, and on December the 5th, 2021, SCR version 1.8 was released. With a massive change log with almost 50 new upgrades and features, this video is a concise review of all the major additions going in order of the change log. Now, there are a lot of station upgrades in the update, a total of 19 to be exact, and while some stations have had minor facelifts, there are numerous stations that have had major updates. First of all, Financial Quarter has been upgraded to feel more like a DLR station, with cool LED signs on the front, the new ticket machines and contactless payment machines are showcased well here, and add more realism to the station. On the platform, I like the new floor textures as they look far better than the standard Roblox textures. The station overall feels far more detailed than before. Stepford East has received a facelift in order to make the station feel more like its real life counterpart, London Bridge. The new concourse feels far busier with the ticket barriers and shops. Platform wise, the station is more of an urban feeling, making the station have a good vibe to it. Whitefield Lido has a Lido now and I really like the new station. The whole build gives me a suburban metro or tram station vibe, and the new, more modern entrance gives the station a busy but quaint feeling which adds to the whole suburban feeling that the station gives off. Overall, I'd say that the station looks absolutely amazing. Stepford UFC now feels more like a station for a football club rather than an inner city station. The added capacity with wider platforms and walkways allows the station to have a genuine purpose rather than just the aesthetic. Whilst I do prefer the idea of having a canopy, the station itself is an improvement from the sharp edges that the old station had. Woodhead Lane, a station memed heavily by the fact that it's named after the owner of the game, has received an overhaul, making the station feel far more rural and it now looks like something that would appear on the least used station series. The station itself gives off Coombe Junction Halt vibes, and quite frankly, it looks really nice. Horton Rake Station hasn't received an overhaul or facelift in 1.8, yet the scenery has. The town of Horton Rake feels more like a village than a few blocky houses in a field. The new tunnel also makes the area feel more detailed. Whitefield has had a massive overhaul in 1.8, with the entire station feeling a lot livelier and a lot more like a terminus, with a canopy, which reminds me of Great Yarmouth Station, makes the whole station just feel that little bit better. Ellesmere Junction, a station heavily criticised for its blocky design, and being a soft thumb on a newly upgraded line, has finally been upgraded, even if it is 402 days later than the rest of its surrounding stations. The new upgrade makes the station my favourite on the Morganstown main line, the new signage also makes the station feel far more realistic, and the train spotting area makes the station feel far more like an urban centre, rather than an old industrial wasteland like Slough. Another station criticised for its blocky design has also been upgraded, this time being Cambridge Street Parkway, a station known for being a useless park and ride on the outskirts of Benton. The station now feels far more suited to be a park and ride station, and as a Mancunian myself, the Oasis references are a nice addition. Connolly hasn't been upgraded in this update, but the scenery sure has. The new town feels more like a seaside resort, and the colourful buildings remind me of Balamori, a nice bit of unintentional nostalgia. The town feels so nice that it just creates an overall vibe that makes it one of my favourite stations now. Apart from Dodge's Nuggets. Further down the waterline, Port Benton has been upgraded and it gives off more of a maritime feel, where the station building feels like a ferry ticket office and the station itself feels like it has a higher capacity even if not much has changed on the platforms. 
Morganstown Docks has also received an upgrade, and this time I wish I could say a lot of nice stuff about it. The entrance feels quite luxurious and open, but as you head towards the platforms, the amount of detail just vanishes. The station just feels so basic that it feels like it's been there for years, which personally, I'm not a fan of. But overall, I do think it is an improvement from the old station. Heading towards Leighton, Rocket Parade has received a rebuild. A rebuild? A rebuild. This time being in a trench. The new station just feels far more urban and, like what Dweller says, the station feels cramped, but in a nice way. The whole station just feels so nice. Leighton Stepford Road, a station that wasn't the best, has also been upgraded. And, well, it isn't up to standards with the other stations. The concourse just feels empty and bland, and it could use some shots. The floor is literal plastic as well, which I hate, which just makes the whole station feel less detailed as it should be. But overall, the station has had an improvement, um, but I kind of miss the Manchester Oxford Road resemblance. Now, we need to say farewell to such an iconic station. The profile picture for Vex SG in January, and an icon to many YouTubers streams and screenshots. Leighton City has been upgraded. And well, it looks far nicer than the old station to be honest. The concourse feels so good now that it's open, and the addition of waiting rooms is such a neat feature that there's no criticism for me with this station. It's based off of Croydon, but who cares, it looks amazing. There's a new station that invigorates me and triggers my sight sensors. Other people thought it would have been West Wyvern West, but it's Leighton West. The station, like Whitefield Lido, feels urban and quaint at the same time. Um, well, is it the most necessary since you can literally see Leighton Stepford Road from the station? Whilst it is a bit unnecessary, it's a nice addition to the network, and the shuttle that you can do makes the whole station just nice. <laughs> Fantech forgot to put this on the change log, but here we are. Wester Coast has been upgraded. The only good thing worth noting with the station is the new buildings on each side, which aren't the best, but a good addition overall. Oh yeah, and Millcastle Racecourse also got curvy um, platforms now, and, and, and it's got a big sign. Now that the stations are out of the way, let's quickly go through the depots. Stepford East Depot is more open now, and it has new offices for the supervisors. Here's a video of Squad Farm 9000 in them. Leighton Depot is now facing Clin rather than Stepford, and has also received a bit of an overhaul. Woodhead Lane Depot has been redone completely to look more like a mainline depot, and Whitefield Lido sidings have been removed in favour of Whitefield sidings, and it's called Train Washers. SCR 1.8 is more focused on station scenery upgrades, however, some trains have also been upgraded. The Class 720 is the first of the trains which were upgraded on 1.8, and the train has immense detail to say the least. The only flaw to address here is a scaling, which makes the front look more like a square. This is also seen on the Class 730, which was also upgraded on 1.8. Speaking of which, the Class 730 was upgraded on both operators, with the liveries on both looking amazing when compared to the other trains within their respective fleet. The train's interior, like the Class 720, is also quite enjoyable and it invigorates my sight furry. My sight furry? What the hell? My sight peripherals! I tried to make a meme and, and like a funny joke and then it just ends up ruining. <laughs> anyway, um, where was we? The trains are great when compared to the rest of the fleet of Connects and Waterline, and despite the scaling issues, the trains look amazing. Next on the list, we have announcers. The human announcers have fully taken over the network, making a far more realistic experience of the game. There have probably been so many different videos comparing them, so I won't bother with that, yet the announcers sound really good. Except for Waterlines. Anyway, that covers all of the important parts out of 1.8, and overall, 
I would rate the update a solid 8.765421665779843551022 out of 10. And this concludes the SCR 1.8 review. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe as we are trying to get to 2.75k subscribers before the end of the year. Anyway, I'm Vex, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! Oh, what on earth was that?